and welcome to episode two of the process. Today during the process we're going to be making some custom shorts, we're going to paint the back pockets with an awesome design so get comfy and grab a cup of tea and let's paint. We're going to start off by taping off the edges. If you didn't see my previous video I literally just use sellotape and you can use anything you have lying around. Here I'm just applying a base layer of white acrylic paint mixed with my textile medium. This creates a nice blank canvas so that all of the colours come out really vivid and we don't waste up more expensive colours of acrylic basically. As exciting as that was, if you decide to do this yourself, be prepared for a lot of hair drying. It's actually really important to clean up, as boring as it sounds, um, it ensures that you don't ruin your brushes as much as they're already going to be ruined by the textile medium. Now, as difficult and frustrating as it can be to try and sketch on denim, I used to take this for granted a lot, but it really, really helps you just lay out a design and see what you're going to do with the pockets, basically, and make sure that the compositions work. So make sure that you use a light and easy coverable colour. I ended up mixing up this really like warm marigold yellow, and it just was such a beautiful colour to use. And I applied two coats of that colour. I want to apologise because I forgot to start videoing when I started painting the blue on but I did then get some video afterwards. But all I did was do one layer of this color because it's quite dark and we're gonna do some more details over the top. Twenty minutes later. All I've done here is just add some more shading and some more highlights to some areas just to give it a bit more cartoon style depth. Here's my top tip for a professional way to check that your work is dry. Just slap your hand on it and if it comes off clean you're good. You can see here that I'm using a really fine brush to do this, but I said in previous videos that a Kirby grip or a hair slide is just as good but will take more time. I've also discovered recently that nail detail brushes that you can get really cheap on eBay work just as well as well, such as like a striping brush would be a great idea to use.
been a long day of painting and also some stressful stuff with uni, so I had a little dance while I was cleaning up. Enjoy! Now day two was the beginning of pocket two, which was like a lotus blossom, cherry blossom, sakura tree thing, basically, because I wanted a Japanese theme throughout the shorts. So here I am just doing the same as the other pocket, but I had to do about five layers of this colour because it is a significantly lighter colour, so it's a lot more translucent. So this is just after one coat. And this is after five. Now I had a very helpful suggestion last video from one of my friends. She suggested that I use a flat surface to mix my textile medium in. Unfortunately, I don't have anything that I can use for that, and especially because I'm using such a small amount of paint because I don't need much, I won't be doing that technique for this one. But um, for base layers, for larger jackets, for example, I'm going to try that out in the future. For the blossoms, I didn't really use any reference, apart from the many, many animes that I've watched, but I used some pink and then some yellow in there later, as you can see in this clip. I used a whole range of colours, and the main colour was like a peachy colour, and I went in and just defined certain areas with this sort of deep pinky red, just so they were more obviously Sakura Blossom. <laughs> One main thing I can say is use your brush shape to your advantage. So for the bridge, everything was rectangle, so I just used a much flatter, more rectangular brush to get the shape that I wanted. And here's me adding in some more cartoon style shading before then outlining to make the piece look a bit more refined. Exactly the same as with the jacket, so I just pass the iron over the designs about 60 seconds for each pocket. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!